combined with the high winds caused damage really across the area. Outside the city, the gusting blasted through, knocking down trees and bringing traffic to a stop. WBZ's Christina Rex is in Boston where there was some damage to buildings. This section of Boylston Street is still closed down and will be for a while. This situation didn't just affect traffic, but because of the danger, shut down the sidewalks and local businesses, too. Not one, but two pieces of the Van Ness building fell on Boylston Street Friday afternoon. The first on a car, the second on a balcony below. Not only terrifying, but like to shut down a major road like this. It's just chaos. Nobody was injured, but Boylston Street was closed. Traffic backed up for miles, and last minute Christmas shoppers couldn't get to the stores or their cars. I'm stranded. My kids are, I think, around the block because they wouldn't let them in. And so I'm just waiting for them, and then we'll probably make a break for it. Investigators are trying to determine if the wind caused the facade to fall. That afternoon wind also ripping the tarp off the construction on this building on Beacon Street. It wasn't only in Boston, though. Tough wind sent a tree right through a home in Marlboro. I was down in my uh, green room. Down below, I heard a crash, and I looked up, and the tree, the tree come down. Albert Carboni spent Friday night with an insurance adjuster. My poor president. Figuring out how to make Christmas work with a hole through his living room, caused by an unusual December storm. Back here in Boston, police tell me Boylston Street will be closed until tomorrow when the weather clears and they can get a crane up to fix that building. In Boston, Christina Rex, WBZ News.